In today's episode, we are going to be looking at this new type of the vibration sensor, which is quite different from the one I used in my previous videos for detecting the vibration. This is the SW-420 vibration sensor and I have used this sensor with the Arduino and also with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for monitoring the vibration wirelessly from anywhere around the world using the Blink application. I will provide links in the description if in case you want to watch these getting started tutorials. This is also known as the shock sensor and when it vibrates, it produces a weak AC analog voltage output which can be converted into digital using the Arduino's analog input pins. I will use three different programs to explain how this sensor can be used to detect vibrations. In the first two examples, we will detect the vibration and display the vibration value on the serial monitor. These two examples covers the simple analog pin reading technique and the pulse end technique. In the third example, we will control these three different LEDs. Each LED turns on when a predefined vibration value is exceeded. Now you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the AAC51-00923 vibration sensor. This sensor is 43 mm long and has two wires, red and black. This sensor is also provided with a connector which I'm going to cut as I don't need this. As you can see, my vibration sensor is ready and now I can easily interface this with Arduino and other microcontroller boards using only these two wires. Connect the black wire of the vibration sensor with the Arduino's ground and the red wire with the Arduino's analog pin A0. That's all about the interfacing. Now let's take a look at the first example code. The vibration sensor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. Next I defined a variable of the type integer for storing the value coming from the analog pin A0 to which the vibration sensor is connected. Inside the white setup function I activated the serial communication and selected 9600 as the baud rate. Next I set the analog pin A0 as the input as we are going to read the vibration sensor using the analog pin A0. Inside the wide loop function we simply read the vibration sensor and store the value in variable VIB underscore data and then finally we print the value on the serial monitor. So that's all about the example one code. Connect Arduino with the laptop. Select the desired COM port and upload the program. As you can see program has been uploaded. Now open the serial monitor and make sure the 9600 baud rate is selected. You can start by gently tapping the vibration sensor and you will see a change in the value. With this simple technique you can detect small vibrations. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example code based on the pulse in technique. I'm using the same analog pin A0. This time I'm using the pulse in function to measure the vibration. The pulse in function measures the time period of a high or low pulse input signal. This if condition check if any vibration is detected then turn on the LED. Let's go ahead and upload this code. While the Arduino is still connected with the laptop, click on the upload button and to download the code into the Arduino Uno. As you can see, the program has been uploaded. Now again open the serial monitor, 
and make sure the same baud rate is selected. With this code, I wasn't able to detect low vibration. When I tape the sensor, it gives me the value and then goes back to zero. I like it. It can be used as the shock sensor. It can be ideal in situations where medium and strong hits are need to be monitored. It can also detect low vibrations but not as efficiently as the SW-420 vibration sensor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the example 3. This time I edit this traffic LED module with the Arduino to show the vibration intensity. The green, yellow and red LEDs represent low, medium and high vibrations. Each LED is 5 volts, so there is no need to connect any current limiting resistors. The connection of the vibration sensor with the Arduino remains exactly the same. The ground pin of the traffic LED module is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. The red LED is connected with the Arduino's pin number 13. The yellow LED is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12 and the green LED is connected with the Arduino's pin number 11. Our hardware is ready and now let's take a look at the example code 3. This code is the modified version of the code I used in example number 2. You can see maximum of the instructions are exactly the same. This time I defined some pins for the LEDs and in the while loop function I added these three F conditions to control these three LEDs using different vibration values. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this vibration intensity monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.